Good morning, my friends. Thank you for joining me. I want to thank all my new recent supporters on Patreon. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Yeah, I try to tell the truth. I don't try and gloss over, try and get tourism to come to the island. Uh, this was posted today. I'll give you a link about one of the airlines that had to make an emergency landing, had to return to Tenerife after it sucked in ash there at one of the local airports on La Palma. Today, they're saying that the airport there in La Palma is open. Well, this plane evidently never made it. New evacuations were also declared because of the increase in volcanic activity. More about that in a minute. But here it says, ash of the La Palma volcano damaged the engines of a Ryan Air plane. The pilots came to declare an emergency return to Tenerife. The firefighters, according to the passengers, were waiting for the devices, you know, all the emergency vehicles. So they evidently never even made it to La Palma before they had to turn back around and make an emergency landing. I don't care what people who are living on the island promoting tourism say. When the planes come close to crashing because of damage from ash, can you imagine what it's doing to their lungs there? You know, besides CO2, SO2, hydrogen, they're also breathing in radon, which causes lung cancer. You can't see radon. You can't smell it. But it is coming up out of the lava itself. It continues to come up out of the rock and the lava flows. The uh, green here, I'm going to show you this in a minute. This is an area of recent road closures. And the pink also, that is uh, lava flows as of yesterday, the 13th. So far today, there has been 82 earthquakes, the largest being a magnitude 4.5. Remember when they said that the volcano would only last maybe 26 to 28 days? Well, today is day, what, 26, I believe. This 4.5 was 37 kilometers in depth. That is about 23 miles from sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. This is flood basalt, meaning it comes up from the mantle of the earth. I'll show you that earthquake in a minute. But this is the area that now they have roads closed that I draw, draw it out in red. All right, and I'm going to go to that earthquake, that 4.5, right there, close to the eruption of 1646. This is the rift that they've been talking about. I've been talking about. I think there's been four magnitude fours or greater since this 4.5 earthquake. And I want to show you something else I found. I went to Google Maps to try and find the location of this area where the road was closed so I could mark it out there on Google Earth. But I noticed that they have here a lot of areas that are temporary closed. See that? Temporary closed. Temporary closed. These are the new areas that are um, now being evacuated. An additional 300 people. They have until 5 p.m. their time, which is like an hour from now. Uh, to get their stuff and get out. A lot of people have been getting their belongings and their pets, hopefully getting their pets, and moving out before the government tells them to do. Yeah, they only tell you at the last minute um, to get out, but you can see which direction that the lava is spreading. Everyone says, oh, you should be more compassionate for the people. Well, I am compassionate for the people. I mean, many of these farms and homes have been handed down from generation to generation. But at least you have your lives. You can start over. They are only things. They are only homes. They can be replaced. Your lives, their lives cannot be replaced. As for the dogs, evidently they're using drones to bring in food. But I haven't heard anything since that was posted on Tuesday. Nothing about if those dogs are still alive or not. If I lived anywhere within this area, 
way beyond. I would evacuate. I would move out. I would not wait for the government or anybody else to say, well, it's time to move. Not when you got airlines declaring emergencies to land because they have engine damage from the ash. Let me bring this out and I'll show you where Tenerife is at. And that's another thing I want to tell you about. Way over here. Right there. It was flying from there to La Palma. Didn't make it. Had engine damage from the ash. Had to turn around and land. So they were closer to Tenerife than they were to La Palma. So here we have the area down there by where they're supposed to bring in the uh, desalinization uh, machines. And I want to show you all the areas that are closed using uh, Google.com maps. This is all closed. If you hear anyone coughing in the background, that's my grandson. He's got a virus, some kind of sinus infection. No, he does not have COVID. He has been tested. Um, those that follow me know that um, we got COVID uh, a year ago, March, when it first arrived here in the United States. Yeah, these are all closed. These gases have spread as far as Puerto Rico, as far as Venezuela. Yeah, Venezuela. I did a report what, last week, earlier this week, about how they were warning people in Venezuela, South America, that if you were pregnant, if you have lung problems, to wear masks. And that the ash, the gases were blocking out the sun and were lowering the temperature of the weather there. All the way over here to Colombia and Venezuela. That health warning came from their government. They are also experiencing acid rain from this eruption at La Palma. Yep, it traveled all the way across the Atlantic. Yep, bring in the tourists. Well, are you going to take the chance in flying? People should be getting off this island. The government there has brought in military personnel to help get rid of the ash. This is one house that they're trying to remove the ash from. There's the volcanoes. There's currently three vents going off. It looks like part of the roof did collapse. There's a hole here. Let me show you another image. It only takes about four inches of ash to make a roof collapse. And I got another image there. There's probably the three vents. But they're also watching towards the south. This here is an image of an old volcano cone. And they keep watching this. And over here down at the bottom and off to towards the right and the left is where they have the lava flows. But they're Worried that there will be another eruption to the south. And they keep watching this old lava dome. Uh, maybe they think that it might erupt there next. I don't know. They are saying that currently there is no sign of any new eruptions to the south. But they're watching this area, which I thought was quite interesting. This is a screen capture from today from TV Canary. Um... Pavoco assures that the end of the eruption will not take place, neither in a short term. Remember, they were saying between the 26th and the 28th, they <laughs> originally thought this volcano would stop erupting. This is what it was showing last night. This is currently what it's showing, oh, maybe an hour ago. And another screen capture taken about an hour ago. Yeah, flood basalt. The uh, the worst type of magma that or lava that you could possibly have flood basalt. 
another image of today's eruption. Yeah, bringing up, yeah, hot steam and more gases and more ash. Here's an image that was posted. This is from yesterday, and it has not slowed down. You can see a scientist standing here taking readings. Uh, this is from the Geological Mining Institute. Here's a current image from IGN of the lava. Let me go forward here. You can see these large earthquakes that came up. And we'll go forward another hour. And I talked about these spikes. These are the different depths of the uh, magma that's under the ground. There's another video posted on Twitter showing the ash. This is the piles of ash that have been shoveled off the tops of the roofs of these buildings. Yeah, I don't know if they show the volcano in this video or not. This one right here, you can see it looks like dog footprints. And that comes from L Time. This Twitter post I translated says crazy. I've been cleaning in the area and it's up to 50 centimeters thick. So that would be 20 inches of ash. This post says I do not know. Suppose they can no longer live there? Question mark. No. They will never live there again. They're going to have to pick up roots and move someplace else. At least they have their lives. Yeah, another post about the animals. The volcano did not erupt yesterday. It goes for a month and these animals are dying. How many will be in them? Yeah, one person went into an area close to where the eruption was and shooing off a lost dog. I don't know if it was lost or not, but did they even care? No, they just shoot it off. Go away. Go on. Shoo, shoo. The weather there in La Palma is nothing like Hawaii. It's going to be generations before any of these lava flows can sustain any type of growth. They get very little rain there to break down the lava. The uh, plantations, which are in white, that's those little squares there. Um, the soil was brought in from another part of the island or other islands. There, there was so little soil that they couldn't grow anything there. So the government brought in soil to plant the crops for the bananas and avocados and whatever else they grow there. Another interesting fact, this line here, LP 213, that road is closed. This is an area that they were bringing in the desalinization machines to water these banana plants because they were cut off. The, the pipes under the ground melted from the lava or the lava tube. There's a lava tube going from the cone all the way to the ocean. And this is an area where they were bringing in the desalinization so they could water the banana plants. It was not going to be used for the people. It was going to be used for um, the watering of the banana plantations. And now that road has been cut off. It is closed because of the safety of the people because they're expecting the lava to flow in this area. Here's another Twitter post that says, I heard on the radio, a person who delivers what was donated to them, those affected by the La Palma volcano, that some are ashamed to receive it and do not come to pick them up due to the presence of media cameras. They had to look for alternatives to send them, send them to them. Um, yeah, were they afraid that the government, because the government, they want the tourists to come. They don't want people to know how bad it is there. All right, so I want to look at some of the deformations of the different areas on the island. We'll click this one right here, and I'll pull it over so you can see it. Uh, right there, and looks like we got a little jump there. And it goes by the month. And let's click 
back. Uh, let me pull it back over for you. Then let's see. I want to go to the northern section because they were talking about um, 10 centimeters of uplift there. Okay, and let's go back down south. We'll do that one there. Oh, it's dropping. Look at that. Okay. All right. That is not good. That is not good. And let's go to this one here. Okay, north, east. And this is supposed to show the uplift. Um, let's go to this one. And I'll pull it over. I'll go to this one. That one made a sudden jump, it looks like. Up, east, and north. And let's go back to this one. So we got north, east, and general trend. Okay. So this side, e oh, north, excuse me, north is dropping. Okay, and then we got east, and this is the general trend. And that is, again, this monitor right there. Yeah, north has dropped a lot. That is not good. According to RT, posted today, 880 hectares have been buried by lava. So that would be 2,170 acres destroyed, more than 1,500 buildings destroyed. Not damaged, destroyed. I told you that there was three vents. It says here the advance of three streams at 50 meters per hour, the fastest, has caused the additional evacuation of another 300 residents who have until 5 p.m. local time to vacate their homes and get their belongings and pets. Well, it's past that now. Uh, two days ago, 700 residents in the town of La Ghana were told to leave their homes. In total, some 7,000 people remain displaced from their residence. The volcanic tremors is still very active. The seismicity is not seen to be decreasing, and the emission of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere continues at very high levels. Uh, here we have an image of the new eviction area on this page here. The 4.5, which, as I should say, if I haven't mentioned it already, is the largest earthquake they've had on the island since the volcanic eruption started, was at 2.27 a.m. And that surpassed the magnitude 4.4 that they had yesterday, Wednesday. Um, they believe that the volcano is nowhere near done because of the amount of sulfur dioxide being released into the air. Um, Maria Jose Blanco attests to this. On the other hand, this Thursday, the La Palma Airport continues operating and is expected to continue like this for the next two days. Even though the airplanes are having severe <laughs> engine problems and with the possibility of crashing, damage from the ash. Yeah, I wonder if they changed that now. If I was one of the pilots, I would say, are you crazy? I'm sorry. I think I, I feel sick. I think I have a temperature. You better find someone else that's going to fly that plane. And here's a current view of the lava delta. Um, they were warning two days ago that it was close to collapse um, because of the shelf that it had extended out had reached its limits for the weight. 
And they were also saying, I don't care what troll scientists supposedly you are out there, but they were saying that if it collapsed, it would probably make a 12-foot a tsunami wave. Yeah, 12 feet. That's what they were predicting. And this image evidently is from Reuters. So what are your thoughts? Do you think <laughs> the uh, tourists should be allowed to come in and uh, create extra work for the emergency workers? Um, use the limited amount of supplies that they have? Please put those comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all my new supporters on Patreon. Um, if you thoughts, please, please, if you have any information, please put that down below. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.